Good morning. Welcome to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're playing with the Acemer S1 laser engraver. It's a 250 millimeter by 250 millimeter laser engraver. It's got for engraving area is 130 by 130. You can get it in a 2.5 watt or a 3.5 watt. This is a 3.5. It comes pre-assembled frame-wise. The only thing you have got to do when you take it out of the box is slide the laser into its mount, tighten a screw, and attach a wire. And you're ready to go. Um, I got the power hooked to it. I've got it hooked to, to my laptop. It's already programmed into Lightburn. So what we're going to do is burn a couple of business cards. Um, before I get too far ahead of myself, <clears throat> it comes with an owner's manual, little tool kit, safety glasses and a cloth to clean them, and it comes with a little piece of plastic that you use to aim the laser. <clears throat> so first thing we're going to do, we're going to open our business card file. which is right there. It's gonna tell me it doesn't have the right font installed on it. That's fine with me. And then you're gonna notice that I have got two separate layers. I've got one set as a line and one set as a fill. For the time being, I'm gonna turn off the fill. I'm gonna leave the line. What I always do is I take whatever I'm going to burn and I make a box around it. It's easier for aiming for me. I've got a piece of black uh, construction paper underneath the laser. I'm going to take this layer. I'm going to up it to about 20% and then I'm going to burn that laser layer into my construction paper. Now what it did was it put a box in there that I now know where exactly to put my business card. Make sure we're exactly where we want it to be. And we're going to slide our laser over the top of the material. I'm going to take this little piece of plastic and we're going to slide it under the laser, slide the laser down on top of it, and then tighten the little set screw here on the side. And we'll pull out our piece of plastic, move the laser out of the way because I moved the material. That puts our material back where we want it to go. And we're going to rehome the laser. We're going to come back up here to the, our cuts and layers. We're going to turn off this layer, turn on this one, which is our fill, which is the main item we want to burn. <coughs> we're going to take it up to about 80%. We're going to frame one more time just to make sure everything is exactly how we want. Now with light burn, if we hit hold shift, when we frame, it'll turn the laser on. That should be good. Now we're going to hit start. And Real quick, I'll show you what we should have when we're done. That's what we should have when we're done. And it should take about five minutes or so to do. So let's hit start. And there we go. We are now burning. This laser is 99 bucks. There'll be a link below in the description to the website where you could purchase it. 
Um, <clears throat> being it's a 130 by 130, it's perfect for burning. Let me show you here. It would be perfect for burning coasters, slate coasters. Um, if you made a template or a jig to hold what you wanted, you could put dog tags, uh, leather wristbands, um, dog collars, any type of thing you want. You could put a few of them in a row. You could go to a craft fair. You could get everything centered like you wanted it centered, put your material on top of your jig, program what you wanted in the light burn on each jig, hit start, and in just a few moments you would have exactly what you wanted for your customer. So great beginner laser, handy portable small laser. I could see quite a few different uses for it that would come in very handy. Instead of having one of the bigger Framed machines and it's got more than enough power to do 90% of what you really want to do. So come back in a few moments we'll check this out see how it turns out. Okay so I burned it twice. The first one came out a little lighter than I would have liked. So what I did was I had this one set at 4,500 millimeters per second. 4,500 millimeters per minute. I always mix that up. Um, at 80% power. So I burnt the second one. I dropped it to 2,000 with 100% power. And this turned out a whole lot nicer. I could have made it a little deeper of an engrave if I had slowed it down a little bit more. But this, we're just testing this thing out to see how it works. It actually turned out very well. Um, very fine printing in my logo turned out really well. My name turned out really well. So for $99, this is an excellent little laser. Does exactly what you want it to do. Once you learn the, the limits of it, how to fine tune it to, way, uh, to get it to do what you want to do, it'll be perfect. So if you're looking to get into laser engraving, this is an excellent option for you. 99 bucks on their website, link is below. Be sure to check it out. 3.5 watt, 130 millimeter by 130 millimeter laser engraving, perfect for coasters, things like that. It just, it just works. Excellent budget laser engraver. So check them out. Again, like and subscribe. Follow along. Got a lot more cool projects coming in the very new future. Check us out. Check these guys out. You won't go wrong. Thanks.